All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. It's not bad. Oh my God, go! Hi, dude. Hey, what's up? Uh, first big high pressure in Alaska this season. It's been absolutely going off there this year, just dumping. And the line, the Sphinx out of Cordova and Points North Heli, I've been getting updates all season and it is as filled in as it's been in years. So I booked us tickets. We are gonna be flying out of Vancouver at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So uh, dry your stuff, finish dumping your cards. <laughs> we gotta get on the road now. Let's go. COVID test. There we go. We are negative. Time to go to Alaska. Woo! Airport. 10 at night. Time to pack our bags. I gotta say, this is the first time I've done an airport pack. Like, literally at the airport. Three, two, one. I think I'm packed. I feel super scattered, and, but whatever. I think I'll, we'll get it all. Like I might make a quick little shot of coffee and then I yeah, walk out of here at four and then we go catch our flight tomorrow, Alaska. Buenas noches. Oh yeah, 4 a.m. I didn't fall asleep last night for some reason, so I haven't slept yet. <laughs> get some on the plane, but off to Alaska. travel but we are here Cordova Alaska home of the legendary points North heli if you remember from the first season of the 50 we were here before when we were trying the line the Sphinx but we didn't quite make it to the top skied the face but I wouldn't consider it counted as checked off or hopefully gonna have some better conditions than we had last time so the Sphinx legendary line has a lot of history. It's about an 1800 foot, just like nearly vertical wall. It is as steep as it gets. And what we're gonna be doing is taking almost no approach because we're gonna be taking a heli to the base of it. And you might be asking yourself, like, why don't you just take a heli to the top instead of to the base and then climb from there? Well, let's go all the way back to the origins of this project and some of my original motivations, which, I'll actually talk about it a little bit later in this episode. In the meantime, we got to get our gear sorted, gear unpacked, and kind of get ready to go, as well as show you who's coming along for this ride. So um, let's hustle. Let's go. There he is, Nick Russell. Everybody, hashtag nightmares with Nick. But hopefully not nightmares with Nick. Um, usually we're on Sufferfest. This time we're gonna use a helicopter. Figured it was a treat to, to, for all the suffering he's done. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's uh, <laughs> definitely a treat and something that not quite used to. Stayed in a bed last night. Uh, had two pillows. It's for living. I'm gonna go get my gear on too, and we're on aggressive standby. Yeah, psyched. It always ends up like this, where you're like, all right, we're chilling, we're chilling, it's not bad. Oh my God, go! We're at the airport where we're gonna get picked up. Sounds like conditions in the field are pretty positive. There's still some potential for slides, but sounds like clients have been getting on steep stuff, and I think the steep stuff had flushed through the storm. They've gotten like, almost a meter of snow in this last storm. So uh, it seems like all signs point to proceeding and trying. Once we get climbing, that'll be a whole different world. I think it's gonna be a try hard kind of day. Really have no clue what to expect, except that kind of be puckered for a few hours. Just trying to keep it flat line at the moment. Like as much as I like to think, well, I was like, ah, learned a lot in the last three years. It's still not a mellow lie. It is still very steep.
So just landed at the base of the Sphinx, which brings me back to that question we talked about earlier, which is like, why are we hiking something? Why are we taking the heli to here and then deciding to climb to? And it really comes from my original intentions with this project and the skier I used to be which was like a free ride skier. But then I kind of started finding the more time I spend in the mountains camping and I'm hiking them, there's this whole new relationship with them that I started to develop. And I started learning about more the snow, the mountains, and even myself in the process. So I started this thing, I was like a full noob. <laughs> I kind of used this project as an excuse to learn along the way, which brings us right back to this place, the base of Sphinx, which we, uh, you know, we're here few years ago and you know we were getting to the ridge line and I was scared out of my mind. I had to go through a lot of self-talk in that moment and get our way down some pretty heinous conditions and that's why we're here again and we're trying and I almost want to see how far I've come in these three years. We got great great crew and obviously Nick who's become a primary adventure buddy. We got Ed who is uh there's a guide here at Points North who flew in kind of with us and an extra seat in the heli, so he decided to, he wanted to come along, so why not? And uh, then we got Nick over there, who's our drone pilot for the day. So um, yeah, it's kind of time to get moving. It's like almost two o'clock and it's gonna be a wallow, so get moving. There she is, right behind me. Crack out at number two. Yeah, it looks, the Bergschen looks a little more steppy and then you have to cross anyways. It looks like there's two, so probably you go out over there. So far so good. It's definitely uh, some blower pow on top. I'm just going to do a quick test here and see how things are feeling, but it doesn't seem like there's any big things at, at Avalanche during this past storm. In general, there hasn't really been a lot of recent activity, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but cautiously optimistic. Put the plates on, getting ready for the main boot pack. But first thing we gotta do is throw on a rope uh, as we cross the Bergschrun, because we don't want to fall into the Bergschrun permanently. With a rope, we'll just fall in temporarily, or hopefully just not fall in at all. Climbing! All right, keep her tight. Ah, it's pretty thin right here. Holy, that thing is deep. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Keep her tight. Oh, that was just this, yeah, it was the bridge. You can see this little crack right there. Okay. Yep, all in one way to find out. That was nerve-wracking. I've never had a bridge collapse, but not fall through. Just boom. I'm gonna take a pull. Yeah, take a pull. I think we're gonna do a lot of trade-offs. It'll be the most efficient. It is just a straight slap. Slap. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's really hot. It's really warm right now. <clears throat> Once we get to that ridge line, we're in a good safe spot. Oh yeah, it is pretty knifey right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just straight up vertical. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. Ah. Oh my gosh. Look at that slap. Awesome. 
Perfect. That was uh, just a fair <laughs> bit easier than last time. down to almost out of the spine kind of into that region like somewhere 30 yards past that yep. let all the slough clear because it's gonna go fucking bananas yeah, yeah. okay drop it yep. oh. yeah buddy Ooh, yep. i'm nervous Ooh. all righty <laughs> Not only was there redemption in terms of skiing it, that was a high quality run. Starting to feel a little less like a noob. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah! yeah that's, yeah. You started that? Yeah. I did it. I did it. We need a, we definitely need a celebration. Here, here's yours, Bjarne. Oh, thank you very much. That one was worth celebrating. Cheers, buddy. That Thanks was you. awesome. That was so good. That was really good. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Uh, thank that you. was like awesome. That. Yeah, it's funny. Elise just texted me and she said, the two people that have suffered the worst conditions in the 50 have now been rewarded with good conditions. So fully karmic. So yeah, we're, we're just trying to, you know realign it but i really it's kind of interesting to see too like where i was in 2019 comfort level with climbing in the steeps and stuff like that and this time it felt like i was like yeah oh, cool. it was pretty chill it was super chill dude i mean four days ago getting the call getting the text when you get the text from the boys you gotta say yes and you gotta book the ticket and buy the ticket take the ride i mean this is, these are the glory days that that you wait all season for just five star conditions and you know you put in enough work and eventually it all pays off yeah cheers yeah, ben. that was that was all time yeah in less than a work week we've ticked off two and good pal so sick yeah. all right yeah let's call it an episode let's get on the next one there everybody on the next. Ow.